Hey everybody, welcome back to another how to draw video. This is going to be a quick one. I saw a couple of requests on how to do different poses for ponies like sitting or flying, things like that. So really quickly I'm going to come on and just do um, a tutorial on how to draw a pony sitting or actually more like laying down. If you need to see a how to draw pony video, you can click the link right here. It's a video to my step-by-step -step how to draw a pony video and it goes slowly and you know into the details of all the measurements. So I'm going to be referring to that video throughout this video. The first thing we're going to start with as usual is the circle. This will be the head of the pony. I usually explain the measurements based on how big the head is. That's why you want to first draw where your head is and how big that's going to be. From the size of the head, you can determine the proportions. So when a pony is sitting, when I say sitting, I mean like laying down. When the pony is laying down, it's about two heads tall. And the body portion is about two heads wide and so the way you can start your your laying down pony is just by drawing three circles that are the same size two of them on top of each other like this and then the third one to the left of the bottom circle and that's going to be about how big everything is if there's noises my cats are going crazy again like my last video. So I went ahead and drew the three circles next to each other. Again, this is about the measurements of what the pony will look like when, when it's sitting. If this is going to be the head, the top of the torso or body starts a little bit below the top of this bottom circle. So not quite halfway. If you were to break up the circle into quarters, it would be about a quarter of the way down. From here, you can bring down the neck, and the neck is going to start a little bit to the right of halfway. Normally, I'll say that the neck starts halfway, but with this sitting pose, we're going to do it a little bit to the right. So this is where the neck comes down, and then the body kind of curves out, connects with the rest of this circle. So kind of looks like a teardrop. The back of the neck connects to the back of the circle of the head. Since this is the top of the body, if you'd like you can draw that guideline going all the way across. This is where the top of the body will be. So you can bring this line, curve it down, and then connect it with the rest of the circle. And so this is the body of the pony. There we have the shapes of the body. Hopefully this is simple enough to remember. Moving on to the legs. This measurement, me saying that the entire pony body is two heads tall, that's including the legs that are kind of scrunched up underneath the body. Start off with the back leg here and this is the back of the heel of the pony. Normally, the pony's leg, the back of the leg, is jutted out with the heel and then comes down like this. It starts kind of skinny at the top and then gets wider as it goes down. Based off of this back leg, since the back legs look like that, this is this part. I'm going to be drawing this section and it is going right here. Definitely note that the hooves always point down to the ground. You want to make the leg look like it's relaxed. And then the knee is just a circle. And circle that kind of goes around. This line should come down over the back of the heel. And then this line showing the knee comes over the foot. So the back of the arm, I guess I'd call it an arm of the front leg, starts around this back end of the circle. This is where the elbow is and it stops at the bottom of the circle. This top portion of the leg is really short and then they have an actual elbow 
and from there that's where the long part of the arm is and just like the back leg the front kind of relaxes and dips down a little bit for the head I'm just gonna do what I usually do in my other how to draw pony videos and I'm drawing a guideline that shows where the bottom of the eyes are going to be or eye because I think I'm going to do a side profile to do a side profile you just draw a line that gestures where the bottom of the eyes are gonna be if a pony is kind of in a relaxed sitting pose um, it would be a little bit low but kind of straight where the line ends at the front of the circle for the head is where you draw out a line and that's going to be the top of the snout. You just bring that line down this way and it doesn't stick out very far, just a little bit. So now I'm going to do the eye and the eye is very large. Looking at it from a side view, I mean the eye is right in the middle of the circle of the head. When you're drawing the eye from a profile you can keep that in mind. I'm going to erase these guidelines. I'll go ahead and add the ear. The ear, as I've mentioned in my other videos, it's about the same size as the eye. When you draw the tail, you want to make sure that it also shows that the pony is sitting. If you were to draw a tail like this, it just kind of looks like it's floating there and not really interacting with the actual scene. She actually has freckles, just like Applejack. I'm gonna go finish this pony off. I'm gonna go color her and outline her and then be right back. So as you can see, I went ahead and colored the pony inspired by one of the original ponies from the first movie that ever came out in the 80s. I think her name is Royal Ribbon. Either that or Ribbons, but um, I think it's Royal Ribbon because there's a pony that looks a lot like this in the current show and she's actually I think a background-ish cantalot pony but she has a little bit of a lighter color scheme like light blue body and um, soft pink hair but she also has ribbons in her hair and purple eyes but she's wearing kind of a saddle thing so it's hard to see what her cutie mark is. But yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep drawing, I love you and see you next time. I wanted to pause and say thank you so much for all of the views and subscriptions that I've been getting. Um, even though I haven't uploaded very many videos yet, I'm just overwhelmed and really appreciative of all of the support that you guys give and all of your comments and suggestions and compliments. And those of you who follow me on Instagram, I also really appreciate you you know showing me your drawings tagging me when you've um, you know come up with your own OC pony it's really become such an amazing gift that I have with YouTube and with you guys as my support so I wanted to say thank you a really sincere thank you alright take care guys and I'll see you next time